Scott Engel of RotoExperts.com, Sirius XM Fantasy Sport Ra Sports Radio. Here with hitting coach Mark McGuire of the Cardinals. Mark, uh, looks like Yadier Molina might be on uh, to his best power season yet, you think? Well, you know what? As you get older in this, in this game, you get to know the hitters, I mean the pitchers. You get to know your strike zone really well, and um, he's just, just a solid hitter. He's always been. It's just it's experience, and every year you get more, and he's proven it this year. Um, he's a great, great gold glove catcher, and he's proven everybody that he can hit. He, can, he definitely, definitely an RBI guy. I would consider him a home run hitter, but he's a good enough hitter to where if you get a ball to hit, he can't hit it out of the ballpark. What about David Fries? He, he has uh, as many home runs now as he did last year. Well, I mean, health's a big thing with him. Um, you know, he has he's played two years and hadn't played over 100 games. Uh, he's been a little banged up this year, but. Um, you know, when healthy, uh, one of the most pure RBI guys I've ever been around. Uh, he's only in his third year of being 28 years old, but he's uh, to me, he's like a veteran mentally. So he knows how to hit, and he's just a pleasure to be around every day. It's almost like the offense hasn't missed a beat uh, <laughs> without pool holes. I mean, Beltran's come in here, and he's put up some incredible numbers. Yeah, he's, he's just fun to watch every day. I mean, again, when you have a veteran like that, knows how to hit, knows how to prepare himself, knows the league, uh, you know, he just... He just watched a few things with him, but you know he's just—it's almost like he's uh, uh, walking around and uh, just always relaxed every day. There's no—it looks like he's living with no stress in his life. He's having a great year and he's healthy. What about Matt Adams? You know, as a power hitter, what do you, what kind of ceiling do you think he has in, at this level? Well, it's really unlimited. Again, the kid knows how to hit. Uh, what I really like—he doesn't have a lot of moving parts, uh, which is very, very quiet in the box. Which to me is a guy that, being that young, he can uh, he'll probably get uh, thrown a lot of off-speed stuff, but he, you know he can make the adjustments really, really quick just because he doesn't have a lot of movement. It's just to him, it's just experience and watching these guys throw, how they're going to throw them, and, and understand that and keep that Rolodex in his mind for the next time they face. Rafael Farquhar tied with Ian Kisler for the, at the majors for the most RBIs out of the leadoff spot. Can you talk about that, Rafael? Stayed healthy, had a great season. That's so far. the key thing, you know. He's been injured for the last couple of years. Um, he's, he's just, I mean, what a happy guy. I mean, he, again, another pleasure to be around every day. Makes me laugh. Knows how to prepare himself. Knows the league. And you know, the thing is, is he gives him a good at bat every every at bat. And that's all I can ever ask these hitters to do: just battle their butts off every day, every at bat, and then go home with no regrets. And uh, Matt Holiday, very consistent in the month of May, yeah. sec second in the majors and most runs scored. You know, he's one of the best to be around every day again. Um, you know, he's, what is he, in his eighth year, ninth year, something like that. And again, he's, I don't even think he's coming in his own. Um, he's just that good of a hitter. Average, uh, home runs, RBIs. Uh, I can't wait to see what the end of his career is going to be like because he's going to have some serious numbers. You guys have had a lot of injuries, but the offense has continued to click. Uh, it's actually a testament to what kind of job that, that you've done with this offense. Well, you know, all I've asked these guys to do is just battle every at bat. Understand that the guy has a, a plan against you. Uh, you try to have a plan against him. Let's go to war. Let's see what happens. And the, the biggest key thing as far as being up here in the big leagues, you got to be ready to hit every pitch and know your strike zone. And then when you're ready to uh, hit every pitch and know your strike zone, more or less you're going to be you're going to be successful. Coach, thanks a lot for your time. Anytime. Good seeing you.